In the beginning, God, Elohim, created the heavens and the earth. The earth proved to be formless and waste, and there was darkness upon the surface of the watery deep. And God's active force was moving to and fro over the surface of the waters. And God proceeded to say, Let light come to be. Then there came to be light. After that, God saw that the light was good. And God brought about a division between the light and the darkness. And God began calling the light day, but the darkness he called night. And there came to be evening. And there came to be morning, a first day. And God went on to say, Let an expanse come to be in between the waters, and let a dividing occur between the waters and the waters. Then God proceeded to make the expanse and to make a division between the waters that should be beneath the expanse and the waters that should be above the expanse. And it came to be so. And God began to call the expanse heaven. And there came to be evening. And there came to be morning. Let the waters under the heavens be brought together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it came to be so. And God began calling the dry land earth, but the bringing together of the waters he called seas. Further God saw that it was good. And God went on to say, Let the earth cause grass to shoot forth, vegetation bearing seed, fruit trees yielding fruit according to their kinds, the seed of which is in it upon the earth. And it came to be so. And the earth began to put forth grass, vegetation bearing seed according to its kind, and trees yielding fruit, the seed of which is in according to its kind. Then God saw that it was good. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, a third day. God went on to say, Let luminaries come to be in the expanse of the heavens, to make a division between the day and the night. And they must serve as signs for seasons and for days and years, and they must serve as luminaries in the expanse of the heavens, to shine upon the earth. And it came to be so. And God proceeded to make the two great luminaries, the greater luminary for dominating the day, and the lesser luminary for dominating the night, and also the stars. Thus God put them in the expanse of the heavens to shine upon the earth, and to dominate by day and by night, and to make a division between the light and the darkness. Then God saw that it was good, and there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, a fourth day. And God went on to say, Let 
let the waters swarm forth the swarm of living souls, and let flying creatures fly over the earth upon the face of the expanse of the heavens. And God proceeded to create the great sea monsters and every living soul that moves about, which the waters swarm forth according to their kinds, and every winged flying creature according to its kind. And God got to see that it was good. With that, God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and become many, and fill the waters in the sea basins, and let the flying creatures become many in the earth. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, a fifth day. And God went on to say, Let the earth put forth living souls according to their kinds, domestic animal and moving animal, and wild beast of the earth according to its kind. And it came to be so. And God proceeded to make the wild beast of the earth according to its kind, and the domestic animal according to its kind, and every moving animal of the ground according to its kind. And God got to see that it was good. And God Elohim went on to say, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. And let them have in subjection the fish of the sea, and the flying creatures of the heavens, and the domestic animals, and all the earth, and every moving animal that is moving upon the earth. And God proceeded to create the man in his image. In God's image he created him. Male and female he created them. Subdue it, and have in subjection the fish of the sea and the flying creatures of the heavens, and every living creature that is moving upon the earth. And God went on to say, Here I have given to you all vegetation bearing seed, which is on the surface of the whole earth, and every tree on which there is the fruit of a tree bearing seed, to you let it serve as food, and to every wild beast of the earth and to every flying creature of the heavens, and to everything moving upon the earth, in which there is life as a soul. I have given all green vegetation for food, and it came to be so. After that, God saw everything he had made, and look, it was very good. And there came to be evening, and there came to be morning, a sixth day. of his work that he had made, and he proceeded to rest on the seventh day from all his work that he had made, and God proceeded to bless the seventh day and make it sacred, because on it he has been resting from all his work that God has created for the purpose of making. of the heavens and the earth in the time of their being created, in the day that God, Yahweh Elohim, made earth and heaven. Now there was as yet no bush of the field found in the earth, and no vegetation of the field was yet sprouting, because God had not made it rain upon the earth, and 
and there was no man to cultivate the ground. But a mist would go up from the earth, and it watered the entire surface of the ground. And God, Yahweh Elohim, proceeded to form the man out of dust from the ground, and to blow into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man came to be a living soul. Further, God, Yahweh Elohim, planted a garden in Eden toward the east, and there he put the man whom he had formed. Thus God made to grow out of the ground every tree desirable to one's sight and good for food, and also the tree of life in the middle of the garden.